Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Transform My Space with MEF Construction. My name is Pepe Lomsomi. I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm also a qualified builder. I'm just a guy who's passionate about structures in general. So there are so many different types of bricks out there. Today, we're gonna talk about the different types of bricks, which one should you be using? How much should they each be costing you when you're looking out to build your projects out there? We're gonna get into detail with each and every brick. If you like this kind of content, please do subscribe hit like, share the video, and most importantly, comment. We're interested in hearing your thoughts. Enjoy. So the first brick we're gonna talk about is these polo blocks. They are quite common. First things first, we're in South Africa. Economics is everything. You should never be paying more than 10 Rand for this brick. Bricks do vary in price depending where you are, how many you are buying, etc. But if somebody is quoting you more than 10 Rand for these, you should maybe look um, somewhere else for a better price. Now, these bricks are really, really common. Many people love them because you can quite cover quite a wide uh, wall area um, with these bricks at a very, very low cost because they also consume very little mortar. If you think about cement to brick ratio that you require, um, it's a lot lower with these um, type of bricks. Because they are hollow, these bricks are actually good at maintaining um, temperature within your house. Um, whether it's winter, whether it's summer, you can regulate the temperature internally um, quite easily. The other thing with these bricks that one should be mindful of is that they are very bad when it comes to water retention um, so they therefore not so great for building your foundations so the other drawback with the brick is that you cannot really use it for sophisticated complex architectural designs because it's quite big it's not flexible to actually fit specific sizes for your more um, advanced or technical architectural structures the next brick we're going to talk about is the Mexi brick. It is a large solid brick. Price, you shouldn't be paying more than 4 and 50 for these. Again, prices do vary depending where you are. If somebody is quoting you more than 4 and 50 per brick, look somewhere else, you should get a better price. Now, they are also very large. You can see they compare quite well with the hollow blocks slightly smaller but the thing with mexi bricks is that you can cover quite a wide area of your wall and also quite quickly because they are large bricks similar to hollow stalks they do absorb water also not very great for your foundation so you do want to protect your structure from water absorption so i wouldn't suggest that you use these bricks for your foundation but great for building both boundary walls or any part of your house makes it bricks um, also having quite good strengths able to have um, sufficient bearing loads not just for your lintels and holding down your roof but being able to support both um, your uh, ribbon block uh, slabs as well as your in slabs which are quite heavy so the next brick we're going to talk about is a face brick looks pretty doesn't it big advantage with face bricks is that you don't have to plaster over them you don't have to paint them so there's no maintenance required on these bricks so they really really a good investment in the long run if you are looking to save costs on maintenance a good thing about them as well is that you can have them used both internally and externally but some people will use face bricks just for the outside and they'll pay it with one of the stock bricks for the inside where we we'll then plaster and then have the outside of the house um, with face bricks. Face bricks are quite pricey because of the maintenance benefits. For this brick, you are looking at close to five rands a brick. Shouldn't be more than that. They do vary in price based on how fancy, I guess, they look. Um, but yeah, well recommended. Face bricks can pretty much be used from foundation all the way to the top. But again, for the area below the ground, you wouldn't want to use face bricks because nobody can see that. 
it would make your foundation unnecessarily expensive so you want to use your face bricks from the ground level up to build a very beautiful um, structure the next brick we're going to talk about are clay stocks clay stocks are really really good bricks to build with you're looking at two rand 30 cents each you shouldn't be paying more than two rand 30 cent for clay stocks they are available in different colors as you can see both the same brick the thing with clay stocks is that they are really really strong bricks stocks do have really really good strength particularly when built in double leaf which means one next to each other you can have really really good supports for your slabs you can have really really good um, masonry units built um, out of them the thing with clay stocks is that they are really really good with fire resistant as well they blend very well in concrete structures where you've got masonry units working together with concrete for your walling units clay stocks do not retain water they're not 100% but if you compare them relatively to other bricks they are really really the best to have in your foundations so if you're looking to have solid design in terms of a foundation use clay stocks in your foundation and then any other brick from the ground level going up the last brick we're going to talk about is your cement stock bricks these little babies normally built in parallel called you know your double leaf masonry units they do consume quite a bit of mortar for these bricks you shouldn't be paying more than two rands each prices again do vary depending on where you are these bricks do have good strength they do absorb water so also not great for having in your foundations but they've got good bearing loads great for supporting your lintels supporting your um, slab that you're trying to put onto them so any load you have to build them in double i don't think that you want to have your stock cement built with a single leaf masonry unit then you're not going to have good strength in your structure so yeah let us know in the comments what do you think of each of the bricks i think they all have their strengths and depending on what you're trying to achieve but the most important thing like i said in south africa comes down to cost if you're looking to optimize for cost this is the baby that you should look to using thanks again for watching please do subscribe if you love this kind of content looking forward to your comments hit like share the video see you in the next time cheers